If you're about to design a website with Divi 5, there are so many customizations that you need to do in order for your website to look great. And this can take you hours. Now, let's take a look and see what it looks like when you first install Divi 5. So as you can see here, this is the main dashboard as you so as you can see, this is the main page and there is no heading design here. There's no footer design. Now, I have a product that I'm releasing today that is going to save you hours. Now, let's take a look at my product and see what happens after you install it. Straight away, you can see here you have a header that has been uh, designed. Over here, we also have a footer. Now, there's more features to the header, which I'll show you in a moment. So the next thing we want to take a look at is the search results page. What does the search results page look like? So I want to come over here and search for Lorem because I know I've created a post with a word called Lorem. So if I hit enter, this is my search results page. As you can see, this is not something you can deliver to a customer. It needs to be a bit more stylized. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to search for Lorem by clicking over here and then I'm just going to type in Lorem and hit enter. So as you can see, this is a much better experience. This is my search results page. So I can go in here and further search if I need to, but uh, these are my search results right here. As you can see, it looks much, much better. And this color that we have right here can change as well. I'll show you in a moment how this color changes uh, with your branding. It's automatic. All right, so now that we have seen the search results, what does it look like? if we want to see an actual blog post. So by default, we have hello world on both websites. So I'm gonna come over here and take a look at this hello world blog post. So if I click on that, you can see the style doesn't look great. We have a space here over the right, which has nothing. And again, you cannot really show a, a client this type of design so let's take a look over here we're going to do the same thing i'm going to click on read more to take a look at hello world and right away we notice that we have a much better experience i mean this looks much much better and take a look and see what happens when i scroll you know my header has changed color on scroll now remember i told you that it had a, a few features it has changed on scroll and when i go further down Take a look at the image. It's going to fade away and gives us and give us more more time to read our article below. Now look at that. As I'm scrolling, it's going to fade away, and now I can read my article nice and easy. And then when I scroll further down here, we also have related posts, which we don't have over here. Okay, there's no related posts. Okay, let me continue on. After the related posts, I also have the comment area. So I can go in here and start typing my comments. But of course, I'm not going to do that. And then further down here, we have our footer. So as you can see, it is a much better experience with this uh, design. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is uh, the blog page. So this is the page that houses all the blog posts. So over here, we don't have it right but when i come over here to our website if i click on blog every single website that you're going to build is going to have this layout again it's beautiful and when you scroll down here you can see it has all the um, blog posts for the actual uh, blog and then if i need to search for something is uh, you know specific here like for example let's do lorem one more time we're going to get our search results and this is our search results page all right so the next thing we're going to look at is the sample pages so this is a default page that is installed when you install uh, wordpress so as you can see this is what it looks like but if i take a look at this on my system it looks like this so we have a page title and we also have the color here that represents the brand and then we have the text over here on the bottom now all this is designed this way out of the box after you install the product that i'm going to talk about towards the end so let's say you want to search for something that doesn't exist on the website it should give us an error page so i know that we don't have a page with a wrong spelling like that so i'm gonna hit enter and the uh, no results or <laughs> no results found page looks like this and again it's not stylized of course over here we, if we go in and do the same thing we're going to notice that we have a difference so if i hit enter we get a 404 whoops, page not found. And then I can click here to go back to the home page. But over here, I don't have that. 
So do you see how this is a much better experience? And once you install this, it's going to save you a lot of time. Now, I know you're wondering, how is it possible that you can just have this design out of the box from scratch? Well, it is because if we come over here, we have this template that is running everything. Everything is being run by this. So we have archive pages. So let's say, for example, you have a blog post that you want to uh, show and that page needs to be designed. But the good thing is it's already been designed for you. Let me show you what it looks like. So I want to show you how the archives actually works. So this template here controls all your uh, post archives. So I want to come over here now to posts and then I'm going to go to categories. So the archive that I want to show here is this one here called latest. So if I click on view, it should it showed me it should show me everything that's in the latest archive. And here it is. It says latest archive. OK, when I scroll down, you notice that we have these two articles because these are the two articles in the latest archive. OK, so let me just show you that these are the actual uh, articles. And there we go. You can see here if I go to all posts, these are the two latest so if i create more and more categories i can actually view all the categories and the template actually shows all the content for that particular archive and this is a time saver now the next page i'm going to show you is so powerful that it's needed on every single design well designed website in fact if you're a freelancer or a design agency, this page is a must because it just makes the whole experience of a client using your website much, much easier. And this template here is the dashboard. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click all pages, and I'm going to take a look at this page here called dashboard. So all I have to do is to view it. And you're going to notice now that we have this nice a beautiful dashboard i can uh, create a brand new blog post from here i can create a new page from here like that and you know without even going to the wordpress admin dashboard i'm able to just go in and and uh, start adding all my pages and if they need support they can just send you an email from the actual dashboard so you can set it up in such a way that when someone logs in they go straight to this dashboard without going to the wordpress admin dashboard i know I'm, i keep saying dashboard 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 now this is very flexible because you can actually go in here and connect any links that you want if you want to remove anything from here it's still fine now what makes this whole template very very powerful is the fact that it is designed using crafter now crafter is a spacing system a design system and this system is 100 percent responsive now let me show you what this looks like i'm going to come over here on inspect and i'm just going to make shrink this page and make it smaller now watch what happens to all the content in here do you see that as this page is getting smaller everything is readjusting now we have two columns look at that you see that and then now we have one column i mean this is beautiful you don't need to go in and customize anything you can use this on unlimited websites and every single page here is 100 percent responsive and this is very very important when designing websites even for yourself because you want websites that look great on mobile devices as well as desktops out of the box. And this template gives you all of that. There's no need to customize anything. Now, when you take a look at this page, it doesn't have that massive header that we had on the sample page. That is because I haven't assigned this page to an actual template. So the beauty of this template is you can actually assign a template to any page as you're designing. Let me show you how that works. So again, I'm going to come back over here to the theme builder like that so here let's say i want to have a heading on this dashboard page so i'm going to come over here and then i'm going to come over here to this template it's called pages so all i have to do is to click on this gear icon and then under specific pages i can then target the page that i want now notice that the sample page is already targeted here you see that so i can select it here or i can just choose another page so i know i have a page called uh, privacy policy okay i can assign it here and now with that selected i can hit save and if i come over here now to all the pages i can go to in fact let's let us save first i can now go to pages all pages and then look for the privacy policy page and then just click on preview 
You see that? Now we have this great heading. But if I remove the page from the privacy policy, I can always go into my DV theme builder here. I'm gonna open this in a new tab to make things easier for me. And then I'm just gonna go back in, click on this gear icon, and then I am going to remove the privacy policy like that. And just by doing that, I'm now going to have a normal page without uh, the uh, privacy policy. Again, let's take a look at this quickly by clicking on preview. And now we are back to the normal way that this, this page looks because this has no template. But if it was designed by with Divi, then it would look much different. So these uh, can be assigned to any page that you want. It's very, very powerful. And although a brand new website doesn't have the dashboard page, all you need to do is to create the page and this template can be assigned to it and you have your template installed. Now, let me show you how to install the Divi Starter template. Now, this template can be used on unlimited websites. So let's go ahead and install it on a brand new website. So remember, we have this website here that does not have anything running on it. So to install it, all you need to do is to come over here, go to the dashboard, and then you wanna come over here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder, okay? It's very important you select Theme Builder because this is a totally different way of installing it. So here, as you can see, it is blank. Now, if you have a website that already has some templates and you're not happy with them, you can always go over here, delete them, or you know, back, back it up and then install the new one. Now, installing is very easy. You need to click here on portability. Now, there's two files, okay? When you purchase this or when you download it, and by the way, it's free for lifetime members. When you download it, it's going to be it's going to be a DV starter template dot zip. You want to double click on it to unzip it, and then you're going to get this file called DV starter template dot JSON. That's the file that we need. So what I'm going to do now is to click on import. Okay. Next, you want to make sure that you click on import presets. Okay, because this is what uh, what's customizing all our spacing values. Okay. I want to come over here, and then here it is. I'm going to select the dot json file double click on that and then i can say import theme builder templates okay great so now that i've imported it it's going to take a few a uh, few seconds and then once it's imported it has transformed our whole website completely okay so with that now i'm going to hit save okay so if we now go and say visit site, now, by the way, this is that Divi site that did not have anything on it. And now we have a header, we have a footer, and we are pretty much ready to, to start working on this. So if I go here and say, Lorem, hit enter. Wow, look at that, it results for Lorem, and everything is looking great. If I click here to check out the uh, blog post, look at that much much better uh, my site is already designed for me my header there is working and when i scroll down it fades out i mean this is the experience you need related posts i only have one related post that's why it's showing and this has transformed my website now i know at this stage you're probably saying mac how do i customize this i don't like your colors that you've uh, set up i want to add my own colors well Guess what? This is very, very easy. And let me just show you on a on a uh, search results page so you can see the color being transformed pretty much everywhere. OK, now I'm going to keep this page open and then I'm going to come over here and go to any page. So let me just go to all pages. OK, so let's just go to the sample page here because I need to get access to to our to our manager here, the variable manager. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to add my fonts. So I'm gonna come over here, change this to, let's say, enter. But of course you can use whatever font you want. Select that. And for the text, I'm gonna use enter as well. There we go, apply changes, save. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is to go to my colors because I don't wanna use this primary color here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna choose a, a random color, okay? And then, so you need to bear with me here. Okay, so let's say this is now my new brand color. If I hit save and apply changes, and then I come over here and refresh this page, do you see that? The brand color now has gone across. So everywhere where I have this brand color, it is going to update. I mean, isn't that cool? Now look at that. Everything is, is so seamless 
that it just works great. So this is the power of using this template. Okay, so now that I've um, applied the changes here, the next thing you want to do, of course, is to uh, just make sure that uh, you add your dashboard because that's the dashboard page we spoke about and we said it was very, very important. So I'm going to get rid of this and then I'm just going to come over here and create a brand new page. So I'm going to go to add page and my page is going to be called dashboard. Of course, you can call it what, uh, whatever you want. I'm just going to say publish. Now, notice that I haven't gone into the Divi Builder to build it with the Divi Builder because I have a template already. So there's no need to do that. So I'm going to come back over here and then I'm going to go to Divi Theme Builder. OK, I'm going to open this in the new tab. So it just it's just much easier for me to work with. All right. So we're going to go for the dashboard template, which is right here. I'm going to select that and then I am going to go to specific pages choose dashboard i'm going to hit save save one more time now when i take a look at the dashboard and click on view do you see that updated no problem and if i need to add a new page all our links here are definitely going to work it's going to work on your website on any website that you install this on now i know we don't have a blog page so we might as well go in and add a blog page because it's missing so again, you want to come over here to your pages, click on add page, and then you want to come over here and just say blog. Again, we have a template, so we don't need to go in and make any adjustments. Okay. We just need to go in here and this time it's a different setting in Divi, I mean in uh, WordPress. So I'm going to come over here to reading and then just set your post page to blog. The one that we've just created, hit save. And now when I go to the blog page like that, notice what happens. Now we have a blog page. You see that? Isn't that cool? So literally by installing the DV5 starter templates, you have transformed your, uh, your website just like that. Take a look at this. If I click on this blog post, I mean, this is a website that is ready to be delivered to your client. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you're probably asking me now, Mac, how much does this cost? <laughs> it is only $47. Now, I know it may seem like a lot of money, but to be honest with you guys, purchasing this just supports me as well. I am really working behind the scenes to make sure that when DV5 releases, all you guys have all the uh, products that you need ready for you to get up and running super fast. So it's only $47. Go ahead and purchase it. I'll leave the link to that in the video description below. And also, if you'd like to learn Divi, I have a course called Divi 5 Mastery. Again, this course only costs $27 just $27 right now it has 44 lessons but I'm adding more lessons to this and when I add more lessons I will not charge you any extra okay so once you pay uh, $27 that's it no more extra and uh, pretty much this is the fastest way for you to learn how DV5 works because as you know DV5 has been built from the ground up and it has become very very sophisticated but this course is meant to demystify de uh, everything thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one take care